Hello and welcome friends. I've uh, just returned from the flea market and I present you today's flea market finds. I managed to buy two writing instruments. In fact, I think I've, I have three writing instruments and uh, three interesting, interesting boxes. And I paid for them all. So all that you see here, 125 lays, which means only 25.29 euros for all that you see here, or 31.87 American dollars. So I think I did uh, quite, quite okay. You will see, uh, because I bought them from a flea market, they aren't in new shape, especially the fountain pens. But uh, I think I did okay. Uh, I will uh, present first to you the boxes and then the writing instruments. And I will start with the first box, which is uh, not from a fountain pen. I believe uh, sometimes in its life period, uh, it contains some uh, medical instruments. And I say that because on um, it we have engraved this snake and the, that scepter and the crown which makes me think of a pharmaceutical or some kind of a royal institute i tried to find this logo on google and um, it uh, brought me an interesting interesting institution the royal dutch uh, institute i think but it had a different crown and a different uh, scepter surrounded by the snake so maybe guys you can help me maybe you can uh, maybe you know this logo which is present on this front part of the box it is a metallic box someone tried to personalize it with a name and they put the name here right on the front but before they did a try to see how uh, they can engrave the name on the back look here it is uh, a try you can see a metallic box full of micro scratches and uh, someone tested it to see if it's solid silver right here so you can see it was tested it isn't solid silver and that's why i bought it for a reasonable price i paid for it only 30 lays and uh, i didn't negotiate because i thought it was a fair price so 30 lays or the equivalent uh, equivalent of 6.07 euros or 6.93 american dollars so quite a nice find let me show you the interior of it maybe i can uh, use it to store some slim uh, instruments or refills i think it is quite quite a nice looking piece now i will move on to the next acquisition i saw this on the stand and i recognize it the waterman logo it is in this beautiful black and caramel accents, uh, no black but uh, brown with this caramel accents. It's quite, quite a nice looking box, I believe from the 1960s or the 1970s. And uh, it contained, uh, let's say, a Chinese made or a no name made instrument you can see a metallic one it lacks the ending of the barrel and uh, with this clip in a poor poor state and uh, what i liked about it it is uh, equipped with a german name and you recognize it it's uh, uh, the bock manufacturer you can recognize the bock manufacturer when you see that deer you can see spring um, the spring of the deer in the mountains and uh, iridium point so definitely a german may be quite in a nice state i think 
I think it will be a quite quite nice writer. But again, with a bad bad body, although it is a metallic body, I don't like it uh, in particular. It uses ink cartridges, and guys. I said to myself, if I can buy it at a really, really low price, I will buy it. Not because of this writing instrument, but because of uh, the box. It is not in a good shape. You can see it needs to be glued, some parts of it. And this is quite dirty, the interior fabric. But when the seller told me the price, I said, okay, I don't negotiate. It is a fair price, especially if you include in the box. So I paid for it only 20 lays. So only 4.05 euros or 4.62 American dollars. So I think it is a good buy, especially because of this great, great looking box, this Waterman box. And now guys, for my last find, and I found this box because of a friend. He was looking at a interesting uh, clock, I believe a Russian clock with an alarm, an interesting model from the 1970s, and beneath that clock it was this box. And it immediately attracted my attention because you can see it's quite a slim, uh, slim uh, box. I uh, measured it, it has in uh, height only 24 millimeters, so I knew immediately that is a, or it is a jewelry box or a fountain pen box, because if it were a glass box um, spectacle, if it contains some uh, reading spectacles, it will be uh, the the height will be uh, quite quite bigger to accommodate uh, that uh, spectacles and immediately when i open it and i saw caveco i immediately inquired about the price of this uh, beautiful beautiful box and to my surprise, it was only five lays, so only 1.01 euros or 1.15 American dollars. You can, can see it accommodated originally two pieces of writing instruments. And in fact, in the 1960s and the 1970s, Kaveco uh, was popular to sell luxurious set with um, fountain pen, a, which contain a fountain pen, a ballpoint pen, and a mechanical pencil. I did a little research on uh, the Facebook group Vintage Caveco Collectors, and uh, a member of the group suggested that it could be, uh, it originally could uh, have contained a Dia set. So a special, special uh, luxury set, which was sold uh, in the 1960s. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful box. It is in this uh, dark green color and it's wonderful with these metallic trims surrounding it. Quite, quite a nice find at uh, more than a decent price of one euro or one American dollar. Uh, it is a great, great buy. Now we move on to the fountain pens. And let's start with a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. Unfortunately, it doesn't have uh, its uh, cap, but I bought it as it is because, guys, believe it or not, it's the first sailor fountain pen in my collection. I don't own another sailor fountain pen. And uh, I presume it's from the 1960s or the 1970s. The model is 712. I uh, didn't find much information on the internet about this model and as you can see unfortunately at the end of the grip section it has a little crack also the nib is a little bit bent here I don't think we have a gold nib because we can see the gold plating has faded away near the sailor we have sailor F1 
interesting this fountain pen was made in taiwan and it has a filling mechanism based on a plastic cartridge i have also the original cartridge here it is also branded sailor okay and it looks like this so i'm not so sure if i can reuse this sailor cartridge but maybe i can find a replacement one it looks quite vintage and i don't know if this cartridge is still in production i hope that i can uh, restore this nib if i have patience or maybe i will uh, need to send it to someone who really knows how to restore this this nib because i really think it is a cool cool nib so guys be because of the fact that this has not a gold nib and of the crack and the fact that it didn't have the original cap i think i did okay with the price of 20 lace for it or 4.05 euros or 4.62 american dollars and now guys for my last find at the flea market i found this beauty beauty american beauty from the 1930s a lever filler unfortunately the beautiful beautiful jade celluloid has lost its original color but a wonderful wonderful piece I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Wall Eversharp Gold Seal Signature Fountain Pen. And uh, I recognize it from uh, this logo right here. And it definitely lacks the clip, the original clip from here. And another thing that I don't particularly like about this fountain pen is the fact that it doesn't come with its original nib it is fitted with this nib made in england steel nib gold plated it has a star on it so i will call it a star nib definitely not the original nib of this model in fact i will leave it on the screen the original nib that was found on this type of model and why not also the original clip that was fitted right here uh, it appears that the ebonite feed is original and of course this is a level filler but i'm not so sure it has that sack Look at the great details on the lever filler that art deco shave the, the attention to details. So guys, before I tell you the incredible price, let me see if we have some ink sack here. I know that it can be dismantled and okay it is securely fitted but this part can be okay i'm not uh, doing this but maybe you can see i've managed to to bring it out a few millimeters and I think but that by rotating it, I should be, yes, I was able to take it apart. So no sack here. And let me see if we have some residues of the calcinated ink sack. Oh, yes, you can see some residues of the calcinated ink sack. Sorry, guys. I will show it in detail to you. So look, those are the residues. It's definitely a sack there. 
or it was a sack there. I'm not so sure that the level filler mechanism inside needs to be replaced, but I hope not. Unfortunately, as you can see this material, we don't have a special solution to rejuvenate the color uh, like we, we have us with the hard rubber. You know that the hard rubber, which was originally a black mat material, in time it develops that brown patina. And I think it is a chemical solution that brings it to its um, original form. So guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful American fountain pen. I don't have many American fountain pens in my collection. And this is certainly my first wall ever sharp. In my opinion, the wall ever sharp is the best American model. I fell in love with them and uh, I, I love especially the Doric model. Maybe someday I will be able to buy one. So guys, for this beautiful, beautiful Wall Eversharp Gold Seal Signature Fountain Pen, without its original nib and without its original cap, I paid only 50 lays, so only 10.11 euros or 11.55 American dollars. This was the most expensive item I bought at the flea market. I also found other fountain pens at the flea market, but those were the main, main attracted, uh, attractive points for me. The other fountain pens were, were fountain pens like this one, so not in a great shape, and uh, certainly they were not produced by famous manufacturers. But guys, I think I did okay. Tell me in the comments if you think I did all right. And if you like this type of flea market finds, I will certainly visit the flea markets. I can uh, see that at the flea market you can find real treasure if you have patience and a bit of luck. As always, I wish you guys to have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your review. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. Take care of yourself in this pandemic time. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye-bye and God bless.